We're in the village of Rattleston in Suffolk. And this is the church of St. Nicholas. This is a very lovely church with a incredible spire added onto the tower. And it's got a clock and lots of side sections been added to. And it's a cold, wet day in April. But the blossom is out. We'll have a look at this church. The churchyard's been recently mown. All the grass has just been cut. And on a lovely, warm, sunny day, it would be beautiful. Well, it is beautiful as it is. Inevitable wheelie bins. There's a path coming up here to the side. And we've got some lovely gates here to the church. Look at that. The gates are open. And we've got the name of the church here, St. Nicholas Rattleston. And that's nice with a cross built into the into this. Lovely blossom there. Cheer up this wet, cold day. And the clock, time is right. A little bench at the side of the path. Floodlights to light up the tower or the church. Not an awful lot of gravestones on this church. It's quite a vast expanse of grass and it's all kept cut by the look of it. Very neat and tidy, a bit municipal. And we're right on the edge here of groups of houses and cottages. This village is, for Suffolk, it's a bit hilly. It's churches on the top of a little hill. It's a beautiful little set of graves here or headstones. Memorials with lots of flowers. This is one of the grander entrances, porch that we've seen in Suffolk. And from this angle, the church looks extremely large, almost cathedral like. Windows each side, slightly tinted, leaded, and a window at the top that looks as if it goes into the church. And there's a shape there which looks perhaps as if there was a different porch here, a smaller porch maybe at one, one time. Difficult to tell without having any detailed knowledge. area at the back here where the font is. The font is quite high and very intricate carving. It's beautiful. Carpet. And here we've got all the bell pulls. We go into the tower to ring the bells. a beautiful stained glass window 
to the side here. And a collection of books which look like they're used by children, perhaps at the Sunday school. Ah, it's time for a cup of tea. That would be nice on a cold day like this. Looks very busy in here, as if a lot goes on. It's interesting. We've got a, looks like a picture of the painting done of the little area here. Houses and people and the church at the top of the hill. And from this angle, we can see the size and the vastness of the church. The stained glass windows all along the bottom and leaded, slightly tinted windows at the top, giving a really a, a vast amount of light coming in. It's very bright in here. The window at the top. This is a, a church on a grand scale. A great running all around here and little black and white tiles. But we haven't got pews as such here in the middle. We've got all chairs and they've got heaters. There are heaters. This is an impressive and decadent church. Chairs and heaters. Stained glass window there. The three windows and one bit of stained glass running in the middle. Up here, this is another unusual feature. We've got these angels. They look like angels here. And they're also up, up the top by this fabulous ceiling. I mean, it's so high and the amount of wood and those angels there and up the end. This is a church on a really grand scale, on a cathedral-like scale. Candles are beautiful. And over here we've got the Mighty Eight, in memory of Staff Sergeant Orlando P. Petrelli, 447th Bomb Group, 704th Squadron, August 1944 to November 1944. It's a very moving memorial in the corner of the church. This has a bit of a pattern on that stone. Little chapel area in the corner here. With a beautiful, beautiful stained glass window. Very impressive woodworking there. That's that's an impressive little area of the church. Doesn't go anywhere at the moment. That wood, a little staircase going up there. Some older pews here at the corner of the church. Seems to be a lot of activity in this church and a lot going on.
the screen is large and overwhelmingly impressive. Some older pews here. Here lies the body of what's that? Mr. Samuel. The fourth son of was that John Hill? No. Fisk? Fisk. Fisk. Right. Who departed this life 15th of September 1691, is that? It looks like it. Mm. Panoramic view of the church from the altar end. Memorials on the wall here. This is 1799, mm -hmm. 1792. 1768, 1730, 1730. And 16. And, uh, and this one is 1684 with a coat of arms. It's a little organ here. <laughs> It's incongruous to the size of the church. So we've got this massive church and this tiny organ. A beautiful old radiator from the 20s, I guess. The window here is leaded and slightly tinted, letting in lots of beautiful light into the church. And there's a piano here, which there again doesn't seem as grand as the rest of the church. The ceiling here is clad and shaped in a slightly different way to most. Beautiful light there. Very uh, Art Nouveau. with the super, super grand stained glass window. It would not be out of place in a cathedral. Little door at the side and another one. Well, that's a, maybe a window. Or This is an imposing church. The building of this church was something that the local population must have been very proud of. See a grand view of what would be a large congregation in an atmosphere of grandeur. The flower arrangements are beautiful. Lovely flowers, beautiful colors. Another one over there. I'm a great admirer of the flowers that the parishioners work on to make these churches so beautiful 
and a pleasure to come and visit. Very intricate stained glass windows these. That's at night. There's a little window that goes to the porch and the entrance to the church here has got this fabulous curtain that comes round in a circle, semicircle. And we've got the modern recognition of wheelchair access. knocker or ring in the middle of this old door. I don't know how old do this door is but it's very big. And we come out to brighter weather. It gives us an opportunity to have a further look at the churchyard and the wheelie bin, a little bench there. This is very well manicured and very well kept and all these headstones are in nice neat little groups and as you can see unlike other Suffolk churches it's set in a more hilly situation slope running down to the rest of the village and the main village street I think there's a pub up the road entrance to the church and this gives us a beautiful view of it and that unusual for this area that spire that reaches up from the top of the tower that's a truly grand building, beautiful, beautiful. 